What's happening guys? I'm at SourceFed with Miss Trisha Hirschberger today. Hi. We're gonna go over some of the behind the scenes, slow motion stuff with you and everything. So really cool. First off, yeah. have you ever shot a firearm before? Um, when I was really, really little, uh, I shot some like BB guns and stuff. I grew up in Pennsylvania, so huge hunting community. Um, but the last time I shot a gun, I was so tiny that the kick actually threw me backwards. The recoil on a pellet gun was <laughs> too much for her. So for uh, some of you guys who might not know, what we did was um, we, we shot a couple of videos for uh, SourceFed's new channel, SourceFed Nerd. Yeah. And uh, this new new show that they have on there called Comfort Zone. It took Miss Trisha Hirschberger here, mm -hmm. Meg Turney, and Steve Zaragoza mm -hmm. out to uh, one of my ranges at uh, Big Bear, and we shot a bunch of stuff. And so, none of us knew what we were doing, so it yeah. was most definitely outside our comfort zone. That you gotta go check that out. Aside from that, uh, you brought a, uh, a Google Nexus out to the range to shoot that was Mr. Joe Beretta's himself. <laughs> yeah, not mine. I, I would never shoot my own <laughs> Nexus product. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pull up uh, the the two shots here. Um, the, the first one was the, um, the AR-15. When I shot the AR-15 the first time for the Comfort Zone episode, we were sitting down. Mm -hmm. So when we did uh, Tech Assassin, I destroyed Joe's tablet. I was standing, and I, I, I have to be honest, I was a little nervous. I was going to fall backwards from the kick. I, I didn't have to worry about getting scoped, which I appreciated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, um, I, you know, I, I, I tend to like putting uh, sh new shooters on those or red dots if it's like a, a fairly uh, close. Um, shot that they're having to do and everything just because uh, it, it, if you if you are consistent with how you're holding the the rifle or the firearm or whatever you can generally judge how you're going to be grouping your shots and everything mm -hmm. one of the one of the firearms I intentionally picked was this uh, tactical solutions AR 22 it's an AR 15 uh, with a 22 rim fire upper for those of you who don't know this looks very tactical looking and with a lot of bad press and everything out there uh, right now for um, uh, assault weapons and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people have a preconceived notion when they go to fire that this thing was just going to knock you on the ground. That's what I thought. I was definitely afraid it of is, that. It's going to spray bullets everywhere and it's just going to be like Rambo 5. People come in with preconceived notions and they're already they're, they're flinching whenever they go to pull the trigger. Uh, they're not following through, they're not breathing right, their groups are going to be all over the place, they're not going to be able to be consistent with their shots. And, um, and having you guys shoot something that was so little recoil, not loud at all, right. um, and, and you, just, you just start, oh well that's it. And then whenever you build up to the larger caliber rifles and stuff, I didn't expect them to be very um, accurate with the <laughs> M82. But the uh, the AR-15, you guys rocked it, man. You yeah. guys knocked it out of the park. I mean, we were shooting at like 100 yards there, and you guys were crushing it. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump up to the, the 50. I love these first few frames coming right out of the barrel. Um, those are those are always great. And it's so sunny. I'm like squinting. It looks like I have my eyes shut, but I don't. So you get to see the um, holy crap. You get to see the um, the round coming out, um, That's going supersonic. So you have the little bit of cone and the shock wave, mm -hmm. and then the gas is pushing pushing the round out there. That looks so cool. Yeah, that's a pretty slick shot. If you've seen the progression in my videos and stuff, I've kind of switched from shooting stuff traditionally head on uh, with it flat side to turning it sideways because visually you just get way cooler of a a. a Reaction. So this is this this is the second shot, mm -hmm. and we we ramped it up a little bit here. Oh, and oh! So you see that you see the see the the bullet coming in there, and I love yeah. I love that. And a lot of people they look at the bullets and they're like, well, how come how come the bullet is is blurry, but the the tablet isn't? Okay. It's because the the round itself is spinning from the rifling of the barrel, so it's not it's not just going forward, right. but it's also doing this. Right. I'm sorry, Nexus. No, you're not. <laughs> Look at that there! We made such wonderful art with the yes. Nexus 7 show. So what'd you think? I think it's awesome! Yeah. I think it's so exciting. I, 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 think, you, I think you did a really, really good job. Thanks. Bravo. Bravo. Thank you. Well, like Bravo. I say, I had an excellent teacher. Well, thank you. What about Source Fed Nerd and, um, and Comfort Zone? Um, so Comfort Zone is going to go a lot of different ways. Uh, the possibilities are endless. We're just kind of excited to take 
our viewers with us on this journey where we do things that we're not used to doing. Yeah. Like for us, uh, you know, hanging out and playing Munchkin or Magic the Gathering is like a normal activity or sitting down and playing video games is a normal activity. But going out and shooting guns in the desert is not only not a normal activity, but it's something that we're, we were all scared to do. If we could get people to troll Steve Zaragoza no. and just try to get him to go skydiving. No, 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 no. I've been trying to get Steve and Phil to go skydiving for so long. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for the behind the scenes on this Reloaded episode. But uh, if you want to check out the entire Comfort Zone episode where Meg, Trish, and Steve Zara goes to go out to the range with me, it's a two-parter, right? So it's a two-parter, so make sure that you check out both parts. It's going to be a lot of fun. We got tons of cool footage. So, um, yeah, two full episodes out of it. And if you want to see the entire slow-mo playback and everything of her shooting Joe's tablet, go check that out on Rated RR, and we'll see y'all next time.